Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video um, tutorials for beginners. Today we're going to be looking at aluminium ingots. Um, I do these videos once a week roughly. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the like button, it'd be much appreciated. So let's get started. The first thing we always do is we cover as general power. So we've got our line coming in to here and to our resources. So we've got our bauxite coming in here. Uh, we have a coal line coming in from across the map. And the blue pipe is our water line and our water is coming from just down there. So we're pumping the water up to the back end. So all our inputs are coming in from this end of the platform. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is produce our aluminium solution and silica. And what we're doing here is we're going with the basic recipe. Um, I do recommend the alternate recipe if you, if you get hold of it. If not, this is the basic recipe. Um, I've based this tutorial on the basic recipe because it's the most complicated. So we're making our aluminium solution and silica wick here. What I'll do is I will just fire these up so you can see. So our silica is coming out now and our solution is coming out. I'll explain these in a moment. So now we've got two um, refineries working with this making um, 120 aluminium solution each. So that's 240 that we're producing and 100 silica that we're producing. The reason this two is because it takes more than one to feed the next machine as I'll show you. So once we're making our aluminium solution, the next thing to make is our aluminium scrap, uh, which requires the solution, 240 of it. That's why there's two machines producing aluminium solution and coal. So we've got those coming in, which produces our aluminium scrap and excess water, which is this red pipe here. Now there's two things you can do with the excess water. One thing that I've done here is used valves to get the correct amount of water going into this pipe here. So this is our inlet for producing solution. And this is our inlet for the actual water. So what I've done is we are producing I think is 120 I can't remember Let's have a look yeah we're producing 120 excess water so that's what is allowed through so 120 is going this way and we have got 240 going this way because if you add those together you get what we need for inside here which is 360 in total because there's two machines. So that's one way you can do it. However, if you get this slightly wrong, um, water can back up and stop your machines. So, and another solution would be to just get rid of the water by packaging it. Uh, I haven't set the recipe up for this. Packaged water, there we go. But doing it this way will require you to have plastic to make these containers and then just sinking it and getting rid. So those are the two ways you can deal with that excess water. Now we've dealt with the water, we have our aluminium scrap coming out, but we are producing 360 per minute, which is a lot of scrap. And our foundry to make the ingots only requires 90 per minute and as you can see it's backing up and getting full once that hits 500 it's going to start backing up and it's going to fill this machine up and then this is going to stop working other things are going to stop working so to deal with that what i've done here is i've put a splitter here straight into a sink now if you have programmable splitters or smart splitters even better because a smart splitter will allow all the scrap to go forward until it backs up but this way it just works the same there we go it's perfect timing but this is just doing the same thing so 
yes that can get backed up that's fine but this one can't because it won't produce and then that one will back up and etc etc though before you know it your factory doesn't work so that's the reason for that splitter there is just to stop it backing up to this machine so what we're looking at here now as well is we only need 75 silica per minute and we're producing more than that so i've done the same thing here i've put another splitter on and i'm just split it in in half yeah it's slow getting started but once it does get started it'll start backing up and then once again if it backs up to these machines then these will stop working you'll have no aluminium solution this will stop working etc so just be aware of how much you're producing and how much your actual machines need this obviously is a very basic um setup just to show you how it works but you can build more machines but the ratios on aluminium never kind of works um because you'll always need if you build more of these machines to cope with these ones then you'll need more of these to produce these what it just never works out properly that's why i recommend the alternate um recipe for it because the alternate recipe these can just go straight into smelters and you can smelt as many as you like which produces much faster and you get more out of it but that is really aluminium solution at its simplest really so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let you ask any questions in the comments if you want me to cover anything specific like the alternative recipe or balancing it all to make as much uh, aluminium ingots as possible let me know in the comments and i will do another video based on what you want so again if you like the video please hit the like button and also if you haven't subscribed please subscribe 98 percent of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed so all that sort of thing helps me helps the channel and helps me do more videos for you guys so without further ado i am off i will see you later bye bye